This is an assembly video of our winemaker stackable individual wine racks. We have two four foot three column individual racks in premium redwood unstained. There's no display rail in this example, so it's all individual bottle slots on this short depth rack. Go ahead and stand up two of our middle rails to start assembly. However, you may find it easier to lay the racks down, so use whichever method is best for you. See the square cut rails on the rack? On the front, the square cut rail is flush where the trim will be applied. Here's a close up of how the top rails are flush with the rack. This is true for the top and the bottom. Once the top and bottom spacer bars are added, you can add the middle spacer bar which needs a nail in every notch. The spacer bars are easy to work with. The dados should be cut nice and clean and they notch right in. If you have any problems with them, contact us immediately for a replacement. Your installation options are a hammer, a brad nailer, or to pre-drill screws. If you're using a hammer, mistakes can happen. Just contact us according to our installation instructions and replacement policy and we'll send you new ones. We do recommend a brad nailer though. We also sell them in the do-it-yourself kits on our website. Get one because it'll make your life much easier. Back to the assembly, add in all your rails and secure them. If you're securing in every notch, as our installer currently is, you can always use wood putty or a wood stick to hide any nail holes. It's time to spin that rack around and put one spacer bar in the middle of the rack. With the winemaker four foot racks, the spacer bar is placed on the seventh rail from the bottom. If you have a winemaker three foot rack, it's placed on the sixth rail. So be sure to count it off carefully and match it to the spacer bar in the back of the rack. Fit your spacer bar in and secure it to the rack. At the front of the rack on the top and bottom, we'll be placing square cut pieces, the top and bottom trim that your molding will be attached to if ordered with your racking. Be sure to level your trim to make sure it's completely straight. Once we're done adding the bottom trim, we'll stand the rack up to add the top trim. Take a moment to be sure it's level. Our installer secures it in every notch, which you can later cover up with a wood stick. Our two four foot high winemaker racks and unstained premium redwood are completed. We will now be going over how you install the stackable beam supports to stack these racks to almost any ceiling height with the addition of base platforms and moldings. Here, we are attaching each beam support to the front of the rack, as well as the back of the rack, so the next kit can be placed on top for stacking. Simply secure them on each side with a nail. Take your top rack and lift it up to place it on top of the bottom kit. Adjust it as needed, and get ready to attach the two racks together. This will make your racks 8 feet high, which doesn't include the base or molding. Here Joe is showing you how to attach each piece by toenailing it in on the side. Toenailing means angling that nail in sideways. Now, you need to attach the racks to the base by toenailing again. Or another option would be to use trim screws to anchor them into your base. Two and a half inch or three inch trim screws that you could pre-drill and then countersink. That would be a very secure option as well. Next, we'll be adding the base molding. You can see the top of the platform is stained to match your racks as that's the only visible area once the moldings are applied. If you did not order a base or don't wish to use one, you can add a different base molding to the front trim instead. The current base shown is 5 and 1 4 inches high. This moves up your 8 foot kit and gives you options to reach almost any ceiling height with the addition of higher crown moldings. Secure the moldings and toe kick in with nails. Next would be the center moldings that you would add and attach with a nail over the front trim of where the racks stack together. Just a reminder that our trim and moldings usually come in four foot increments, so depending on the length of your racks, you may need to cut to fit. Here are the crown molding options in various sizes to hit your ceiling height, pictured as the grande crown, or you can add this beaded crown to the top. Another option is two-step to reach a very high ceiling. Either way, you have a lot of different options depending on what you like. The last but most important step is to attach it to the wall. With stacking racks, it's important to secure each individual rack to the wall. However, if you have all of your racks attached, Depending on the length, you do not need to do two brackets next to each other for each individual rack. Additionally, if you have your racks on bases, the platform and the post or back spacer bar should be flush. Make sure you're measuring the inch and a half from the racks and not the spacer bar and platform. Take your brackets and put it on the top spacer bar and on the bottom. That way, when the bottle lays on top, it doesn't hit it. Be sure to locate the studs on your wall where your racks will be placed first. The best way to secure the racks is to secure your brackets to the studs. After you put the brackets where they go, Put it flush up against the wall and mark the walls where your anchors will be inserted into the stud for the screws. Move the rack away to pre-drill the holes, add in the anchors, push them in the wall or use a mallet, and then move the rack back to the wall to screw in your brackets. Once the rack is moved to your satisfaction, simply use your drill and screw in the final screws to secure the rack to the wall. One last important note, if you break or damage any parts during assembly, don't despair. We offer free replacement parts during the assembly process. Just give us a call 
and we get you a placement part out right away. Just another great service provided to you by Wine Cellar Innovations where the customer's needs always come first.